I bought this Sony a6400 camera in the gray market exactly two years ago and after some research and investigation I finally figured out if it was worth it and would I ever do that again. In my particular case the very short answer is yes, it was worth it, sort of, and I'll explain that in just a bit why, but would I do it again? Never. And let me explain why. First of all, there are pros and cons in buying your photography gear in the gray market. And the biggest pro that attracts most of the people, obviously, is that you get quite significant savings. Honestly, that's probably the only benefit that I can think of. Rest of the things are just cons. For example, there's no manufacturer's warranty. Some sellers do offer one year limited warranty, but the warranty is from the seller itself and not from the manufacturer. If your camera or lens breaks, will you get it repaired under the warranty? Well, the reviews are very different from each seller because obviously they'll try to do everything in order not to accept the warranty. As you can imagine, they're not the exemplary sellers. And even with legitimate stores, it is sometimes really hard to get your stuff fixed. But if you reach out to the manufacturer directly, things should be fine. Well, at least, I got an amazing service from Sony when my a7 II broke, while the store where I bought it from were absolute dicks. If you do have experience in requesting the warranty from these grey market sellers, please share your story in the comments as we are a community here and it's just amazing to help each other out with the experience we have. Another con is that some of these stores or sellers are not legitimate. I mean, in general, they're not very legitimate, but they can scam you. Even though I read a lot of reviews about the store where I bought my Sony camera, I was really worried that they would just take my money and not ship it. But luckily for me, here it is, still working. So everything actually for me went quite well. And another con is that it is unfair trade practice and it's morally wrong. It really depends on the seller, but as far as I found out, most of them operate from other regions, thus avoiding paying taxes. and. At least that's the reason I believe is how they can have their prices to be a lot lower than legitimate stores. Another thing that crosses my mind is where do they actually get all the stuff from? Because obviously the manufacturers themselves probably have no official contract with them. So that's another sketchy thing, I believe. But is it worth buying from these sellers even? As I said, it depends. If the gear doesn't break down during the original manufacturer's warranty time, then you're in luck and I believe your risk has paid off considering that you have no moral issues of doing such a purchase and you weren't scammed ordering the stuff in the first place. Sony usually gives two year warranty. So in my case, the risk has paid off, but I think in many cases, it doesn't. Sigma, for example, gives five year warranty to their lenses. And I personally believe that paying what, like 10, 20% more um, to buy it in an official store in exchange of five year worry-free warranty, I just think it's it's worth it. And it also really depends on the region or the country where you live in. Even here in Europe, I've noticed that the price difference between the gray market and the legitimate stores in some countries are large, but sometimes it can be also very insignificant, meaning less than 10%. So do I recommend you buying your gear in the gray market? Well, I personally don't because I think the risks are too high compared to the benefits you get and also the moral aspect personally plays a big role in my life. However, I don't judge anyone. I do understand people who are willing to take these risks and still go ahead and purchase their stuff there. If you have some experience with the gear from the gray market, do let us know about it in the comments. Tom Surex here. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to keep on creating. Be safe out there.